hi guys uh, welcome to my channel today we are going to be making chapati so I've got all of my ingredients ready I've got my salt and this this is this says uh, one tablespoon but that's not one tablespoon of salt it's just like maybe a teaspoon of salt I've got two eggs and I've melted like one and a half um, spoons of butter in there um, I like to put a bit of butter in my chapati just to make it a bit soft and moist and then I have uh, four cups of flour that I've already measured using this and yeah so that's pretty much it and for the butter for, for those that might be interested I used this butter for bacon and I just melted one, one and a half um, tablespoons of that and this is my rolling pin it's ready for you so I'm gonna be using this to um, to roll up the chapati so yeah let's get cooking okay now that I have um, everything that I need to start cooking I've even got my cooking oil for when I start frying the chapati and I've got my warm water into the warm water there. Plus the flour for when I start kneading um, the dough. I think with the oil and the I mean with the butter and the salt you just need to put according to your taste you know because um, I feel there is no uh, measurement for or recipe on how to make chapati it's about how you like it Still feels a bit um, too too hard, so I'm, I'm gonna put a bit more water. just going to cover it for like five minutes and then I'll come back to it. I have cleaned the surface and now I need to start uh, prepping this. So I'm just gonna put it here and then with this oh wait are we done or are we not done? Okay we're done. So soft, just perfect the way I, I like it. <clears throat>
two tablespoons of oil because we're trying to create layers. Anyone who makes chapati will know that a layer of chapati is the best chapati. So then for me, I go back into kneading it again. about ready now turn on the stove I'm just going to put this on here because now I need to break it off into sections or portions of how I want the chapati to be and then knead them separately and start cooking them as I go Then I roll it out, ready for the pan. So I'm still learning how to make them round, <laughs> but um, so far it is not going well. I can promise you that. Okay, yeah, that's about it, I think. It's not round, it's not perfect, but definitely going to be tasty. Okay, I'm ready to now put the chapati on the stove. Um, okay, so now we're going to start cooking. I like to do them as I go along, I don't like finish rolling the dough um, and then start to fry. I like to roll the dough as I fry because I feel like I don't use up that much time when I do that. So. So it's not perfect, but essentially that is it. You just keep turning it until it browns to your preference. And these bits, these brown bits, you see these are the best parts of a chapati. So 
I will keep repeating this until it is done. I have finished cooking, so I, I covered it up in foil to keep the moisture in, but essentially that's how the chapatis look when they're done. They are so soft. I'm so proud of myself because I'm still learning how to do it. But yeah, they, they, they look great. I'm gonna have them with that chicken and I made a salad as well. So this should be really tasty. I'm really excited. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.